Well, beautiful morning, uh, nice and peaceful. Another large day in the makings here in the big land. And uh, you know, to be honest, uh, I didn't think I'd be permigan hunting again anytime soon. But uh, you know, the kid's great great grandmother, she's 100 years old, and she asked for some uh, raw permigan liver. When a 100 year old lady asks for raw permigan liver, you go and you get her some. <laughs> so that's what I'm at this morning. Uh, and I just recently got those. I think two probably would have been enough for her, but I, I got three because sometimes you tear the liver up a little bit getting it out. So I wanted to make sure I had enough. And also people have been asking me, you know, when I'm in the bush, I rough pick them like this. And they've been asking me, what's your next steps? What do you do to take them from this to have them ready to, to, to cook? All right, the first thing I do, you know, is I remove the head, the wings, and the feet. And with the head, you know, I just, I just nips the, the neck here and I just pluck the head right off, like that. And then with the wing you feel there's a joint, you cut down towards the joint there and you buckle them back and he'll sit right there and you'll, you'll cut the wing off. Same thing on the other side, I I can feel the joint there, cuts down to the joint, just buckle them back and that's the wing. And then with the feet. I just grabs the foot, the joint is right there, you grab the foot and just tip them back against like that and just rub your knife there a little bit and then uh, twist up, twist up and there you have the foot, grab the foot, push up like that, you feel the joint right there, when you cut in there a little bit you twist up, push up a little harder and then you'll come right apart and then like that. So, so the first step, like I said, remove the head, the wings and the feet. And now, with the wings, there's another little joint in right here. You grab the feather just beyond that joint there a little bit and give her a little howl. And you see the wing, then usually a bit of skin and feathers on the other side. You stick sand a little bit sometimes and you haul that back and then buckle back against that joint. And, you know, not a lot of meat on these little wings, but when you cook them up in the pot with the other stuff, that's the kind of stuff that really makes the, plus the flavor, adds the flavor to your gravy. And I guarantee you, definitely nothing wasted. I'll just put the wings on it over there and I'll wash it, up, I'll wash it all off after. So that's the first step, head, wings and feet. Next. Next, I pick off the big feathers, usually on the back. You know, when you're rough picking the bees, a nice bit of feathers left on, you can see. So, right there the back, I'll just pick that up towards the neck there like that. Pick off all that, and then I'll move out on the wings. And usually, a nice few feathers be left on there, but, but they're easy to come off, you know. And the main thing when you're rough picking is get the breast and the back off, and then the rest you could deal with after. Huh? So, I'm just taking all those big feathers off first. I'm not picking them right, right, right clean. It's still like kind of rough picking here, just to get the big stuff off. Now, see that uh, usually is always a little bit left around where you joint the feet. And what I do is there. Now, <laughs> I cut my thumb the other day, so it be a little bit tender, but, but you just grab and nip it kind of hard, like a little bit of skin, you tears it off, and you could, uh, you could tear, clean that right off there, look. Do the same thing on the other side. Just nip the skin there a little bit and give it a little, oh, my thumb, <laughs> smirts. Huh. See that, so nice and clean there. Next, I, uh, I like to wash them off a little bit. Just wash all the little feathers off. Turn the tail here to lock the camera on. And then I'll just pick every last little little feather off. Don't leave not a thing there.
every last little tiny piece. Give it a little swoosh. Just clean them off really nice. Oh, look at that. Put he there. And get another one. Swooshing in the water. Well, I must say, they're looking pretty good there now, and uh, after I got them, you know, I usually soak them for a little while, and you still might find a scatter, a little feather on them, but I make sure that uh, that uh, every last little one is picked off, and I tell you, uh, it sure looks nice when you clean them up good. Now, lots of times what I'll do first, I'll come up to the front part, I'll just tear it open there a little bit. And not much in their crop now early in the morning, never later on this evening now these crops will be really full from food what they've been eating all day. But I come up here and I take their their crop crop out. Now he's empty right now, but uh there's a couple of that just starting to feed on just a little bit in there. But he'll be really full. And uh when they're full in the evening, you know you gotta be careful sometimes you'll bust them open and you get little bits of food gone everywhere and you just wash it all off. But uh, lots of times I'll do that. I'll just take that the, the crop out first, and I'll just show you that again. Oh, the one here with a little more food in. See there, a little more pudgier. Still might be a lot in. Huh? You can see the crop right there, and then you'll eat all day and fill he read up. And it just takes he read out like that. You can see a little more in that one, but lots of times I'll do that. I'll just take a, the crop out first, and now to gut them. Now I got, like I said, I cut my thumb right here. I'm going to use my left hand. I normally use as my right, but I just like uh, push back on the skin there a little tiny bit, and with my uh, thumbnail, right under the breast there, push up, just to tear a little hole in there. And I'll go back to my other thumb here now. My right hand, just I just open them up that way. You know, don't need their knife, only dirt pretty niche. And then I reach right in, like I feel the hurt, and I haul back. And I haul everything out through till it comes to to his ass here. And one part of the bird I cuts off is the ass. <laughs> I just cuts down through and cut it all off there like that. And so now all you got left in there, now with that back piece right here with that blood or I think some people call it kidneys right there is really good and the lights are up above that. Some people leave the lights in and some people take it out. Uh, I leave them in there but uh, the ones I'll just show you how I uh, take them out. Well actually I'll do it now because my hands are full of blood so what I'll do now is after I got the gut removed I'll give them another little wash. Washing out, look at that. And then with the lights, you could reach up with your fingers and actually just tear them out. Get your fingers. Oh, I just lost my knife. So one there, and and on the other side is the other one. And now I'll just wash them right out again. Now you can see it's still a couple of little feathers there. After you keep washing them, you'll your stuff will show a little easier. And now, right here is the guts. Okay, so here's the heart. Slash here right there. And pick off my knife. Now this is the liver. This is an important part. The liver is not really big. Just very gently get every bit of good there. Now wash that off. Right there. And then see there's another little small piece there.
And right here is the gizzard. And with the gizzard, just in a certain way. You just cuts them down until it comes to the sack. And see that there? Now, you get tear the, tearing off around the sack. This one's starting to freeze a little bit. Let's stuck on there a bit, but but I'll manage to, to pull that sack right off there. It's stuck on there. It froze a bit. And that sack there, that's where all the food bees uh, ground up. Ground up. He's digested. Yeah. And that there is the gizzard. Man, I love parmesan gizzards. They're delicious. Yeah, I'll just use that parmesan there for a camera stand. Get her up a little higher. And show that again here now. So this here is the parmesan. Like that. Tom, untrue, like that. Reach up, grab the heart, all back down true. Like I said, I cut the I cut the butt off. Like that. Give it a wash and a shake. Put right there. Is it's the heart. Today, now right here's the liver. The liver is the, the liver right now is the most important part today. I can tell you that. I'm sure, it gets every bit of it. The liver. Wash it off. And drop it there. And there's just another little small piece of liver there. Wash it off. And. Last but not least is the gizzard. Cuts right down to the sack and there's like a film on the inside of the gizzard. So you cut down a little bit past that till you come to the sack. These are freezing on me, but it's stuck on again. I froze. Tearing on there a little bit, but but I'm working off. Little by little, it'll come. Where it is spring of the year, you know the mornings be cold and warms up through the day. So when you're traveling, you know that's why we're gonna leave early in the morning, you know, before it softens up too much. And now I gotta clean my stand. <laughs> Another thing you can do, you know, this is the this is the guts. You could just wash the guts off too, make you make it a little easier to see there. Doesn't take very long uh, to clean them up, you know, and. Uh, that's the gizzards right there. One had a shot in, so I threw that one away, and that's the tree hurts. And that's the, the liver from Muriel. That's what this little hunt is all about. Uh, I'm pretty sure she's going to enjoy it. Well, uh, when I was there uh, cleaning the parmesan and gutting them, <laughs> a jay came, <laughs> stole all my wings. <laughs> yeah, and I was going to mention too, you know, I sometimes keep the heads. They're really good as well. And, uh, you know, I was going to say too, uh, you know, you can see it's only a few inches deep there, but you always be careful around brooks, especially if you're a long ways from home and you got wet, you know, it'd be pretty uncomfortable. Uh, but I guess that's it for this one, you know. Uh, uh, job completed here. I got the liver for Mario, so I'm going to bring that back and really nice and fresh. And the parmesan now, I'm just going to put them in the freezer because we're going to be on snowmobile pretty early in the morning in the Makovic. So, so I guess that's it for this one, guys. I really appreciate y'all watching and I hope to see you all in the next one. All the best from the big land. Man, what a gorgeous day we got.